Hi guys, this is Matai the Dead doing a review for Crap Cinema Central. Um, today we're going to be looking at a war exploitation title from 1985, directed by a guy called Jobik Wong, or that could be Yobik Wong. I've got no idea. Um, and this is his only directorial role. Um, according to his IMDb, he's done a lot of second unit work, he's acted in one or two, and I think he's like produced as well, something like that. But as far as I know, this is the only film that he's actually directed, and that's a 1985 film, Jungle Heat. Now, this film is terrible, um, but in a fucking amazing way. The dubbing on this film is hilarious because it literally sounds like one person doing different voices, um, which just adds to the charm of it. Um, it stars Sam Jones, who was from um, Flash Gordon, and I'm not too sure if he dubbed himself or not, but he just sounds like everyone else in this film. Um, tons of action. Um, fairly graphic as well. Um, there are some really brutal and over-the-top scenes. Um, I'll be attaching a clip at the end of this video that perfectly demonstrates that, because I couldn't find a trailer here on YouTube. Um, but there's a clip right at the end that I'm going to show that is just absolute gold. Um, it essentially includes a guy buried like chin deep in dirt and then shaved and then having acid porn on his head. Porn on his head? Poured on his head. Um, which is just hilarious, especially the outcome of what happens as a result of that. Um, other instances of some really over-the-top violence is a guy getting his stomach ripped open by a saw, like a handsaw thing that's operated by two people. They pin him up against the wall and then just go back and forth. Um, you've got like necks being broken, um, decapitations, uh, it's all in there. Just obscene to the point of hilarity. Um, the story is pretty simple. It's towards the end of the Vietnam War and a special unit team has been sent in. Um, I can't really remember what the job was. Um, I think it's just to secure the area or something like that. And they basically get ambushed by Viet Cong and horrible stuff happens to them. Some of them escape, but one of the brothers is still there. So they yeah, end up having to go back and saving him. Although he does something really stupid at the end of the film, which I'm not going to ruin for you guys. Um, but yeah, needless to say, a lot of people die in this film. And there's a little subplot that I thought was really weird. Um, but there's a part where they hold bike races. And... The main challenge of this bike race is wagons with logs on are sent down the road and then the bikers have to time it so they drive underneath the um, the lorries. Needless to say, there's a couple of instances where it goes terribly wrong, but it's just hilarious. It's out of place. The people love it though, they're having a whale of a time watching these idiots on motorbikes survive, die, get crushed. It's just amazingly pointless. Uh, there's lots of pointless slow motion in this, which again is hilarious, like driving through a muddy puddle and the cat, it's like really slow motion. There's some elements of Kung Fu in there with, again, slow motion. Um, I will say one thing though, that guy, this incident doesn't happen in the film. Um, sure there's a white woman who gets kidnapped, but that guy with the moustache, 
doesn't even appear in the film, and he's never in that pose with that woman. Uh, clearly just to try and attract attention. Um, but yeah, this is just a really great war exploitation title. It's a shit fest. You shouldn't take it seriously, but it is amazing. Uh, this release was like a penny on Amazon, and you can tell because the artwork looks cheap. It looks like a bootleg. Even the disc looks like a bootleg, but it's not. Um, but yeah, this is a fantastic film. If you like bad dubbing, over the top violence, um, just exploitation at its finest, this is the film for you. So yeah, that was my, I think it's my first review for Crap Cinema Central. Really glad that Nick and Tat have got this up again. Um, and yet, yeah, I'm going to leave you not, leave you guys now with a nice little sequence. So, go check out this film. I'm sure you can still pick it up from Amazon for like a penny. It's well worth the money. Um, and I can find myself watching this time and time again. So yeah, that's Jungle Heat. Um, just go out and buy it. And if my review didn't help, then this clip certainly will. <laughs> Cut his hair up! Quickly! What are, what are they gonna do now? Wait, you see that? That can be scary. Now that means they're gonna kill him. Yeah. He hasn't got a chance. Oh, he hasn't been in See that? See that? Oh, shit. When they shave anybody's head, he's dead. That means he's a gun. He's a gunner. Oh, Jesus. Help me. Razor. Ha 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 ha!